Hi Year 4, my name is Mrs Mullis and I'm going to be your teacher next year in Year 5. I'm very excited to meet all of you properly, although I do know many of you a little bit already. So I would like to tell you a couple of fascinating facts about myself, so you can get to know me better. I can play the piano and the cello and I love music. My favourite subjects to teach are English, history and languages. My favourite topics to teach are Ancient Greece and Ancient Rome, mostly because I studied a subject called Classics at university, where I got to learn all about the Greeks and the Romans, as well as learn their languages. This is particularly fascinating this year because our first topic in the autumn term is going to be Ancient Greece. Lastly, I love cooking all sorts of food, but especially Mexican and Turkish food. Hopefully you'll be able to email me on Purple Mash now, so if you've got any questions or worries about next year, you can email them to me and I'll answer as soon as I can. Hopefully I'll see you all in the Zoom meetings later this week. OK, bye. Hello Year 4, um, I'm Mrs Davis and I'm going to be teaching you in Year 5 with Mrs Mullis. I'm going to be teaching one and a half days each week um, and I've been asked to tell you a couple of fascinating facts about me. So the first one is when I had been a teacher for a couple of years I actually went to live in Africa and I lived in Senegal in West Africa for four years teaching there. Um, and second fascinating fact is that when I was at school, at secondary school, um, I actually did sabre sword fighting, fencing as my um, main sport. So I did competitions and things and I really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm really looking forward to teaching you next year. Most of you know me already, but if you don't, I'm going to enjoy getting to know you. Um, I hope you have a lovely summer and I will see you in September. We know that for many of you, the last time you were in school was the 20th of March. That's nearly a six month gap. If you have been in school, it has been very different. There will be opportunities in the first few weeks to get to know your teachers and teaching assistants, as well as your classmates, again. So our learning in year five. We're going to continue from year four and work on our handwriting, our grammar, punctuation and spelling, our maths, including click and mental maths, our personal reading and our vocabulary building, reading skills and comprehension in school, science, history, geography and RE, PE and PSHE, DT, art, drama, music, French and computing. So our first topic in the autumn term is going to be ancient Greece. So, during our Ancient Greece topic, we're going to focus on a range of different areas. In reading, we're going to read ancient Greek myths and learn about the ancient Greek gods and goddesses. In history, we'll study the civilization of ancient Greece. We'll think about Athens and Sparta, and we'll find out how we know about ancient Greece, what sources we can use, and we'll also learn about Greek soldiers and how they fought. In English, we're going to write our own adventure stories based upon the Odyssey, We'll write persuasive writing. We will also write non-chronological reports about mythical creatures, our own invented mythical creatures, as well as some ancient Greek mythical creatures. And we'll write a fact page about ancient Greece, summarising all of our knowledge, as well as finishing with instructions about how to be an effective Greek soldier. In art and DT, we will make Greek theatre masks and we will design and paint our own Greek pot. And finally, in science, our topic will be forces and air resistance. Our spring term topic is going to be rivers and rainforests, where we will learn about the Amazon rainforest and the Amazon River, as well as study the ancient Maya. So here are our areas to focus on in the spring term. In geography, we will study rainforest habitats, the layers of the rainforest, as well as animals and their adaptations. We'll think about global issues such as deforestation. In history, we'll study the civilization of the Maya, and we'll also think about the production and history of chocolate. In English, we will write narratives or stories based on our class text. We will persuade people to look after the rainforest, 
and we will write a non-fiction fact page about a chosen animal and its adaptations. In Art and DT, we will carry out some drawing and painting linked to the rainforest. In music, we will learn about samba and we will learn some of the basic rhythms followed by some of the next steps in samba drumming. And in science, our focus will be plants and animals, their life cycles, we'll classify plants and animals and think about adaptations of living things to certain environments. In the summer, our topic will be called Flying Through the Ages. We will consider Crawley and its history as a town and how it links quite strongly with Gatwick Airport. And we will also learn about the history of flight linking to future flights such as space exploration. So here are the areas we're going to focus upon. In geography, we'll look at trade links and uh, jobs within the airport. In history, we will look at changes in Crawley since 1940 and the creation of Crawley as a new town. In English, we'll write narratives based on our class text. We'll also look at newspaper reports and non-chronological reports linked to the history of flight. In Art and DT, we will study local artists and we will design our own aeronautical gliders. In music, we will carry out some singing activities linked to songs through the decades. And in science, our main topic will be space. So I'd like you to think about these questions for the Zoom meeting on Thursday the 9th of July. What are you excited about when moving into Year 5? What are you worried about? And what are you looking forward to? We should have a chance to discuss these questions during the Zoom meeting. And finally, if you have any further questions about next year, remember you can email me on Purple Mash. Have a lovely summer and we look forward to seeing you all in September. Hopefully we'll be able to see you briefly at the Zoom meeting on Thursday.